Tips and Tricks. There are a few products and techniques that may be used for hard to seal wound dressings. Skin prep should always be used on any skin where the transparent film will be placed. If skin is intact, regular skin prep versus no sting is preferred. Make sure the skin prep dries prior to applying the transparent film. Additionally, once the transparent film is applied, you may use the same skin prep pad and apply skin prep outside of the dressing. Cover all of the transparent film. This will help with adherence, although this will change the moisture vapor transmission rate of the transparent film. Tips and Tricks Ostomy paste, which comes in many different preparations, paste, strips, etc., these can go a long way when trying to seal a wound in difficult anatomical locations. When using any of these preparations, make sure they are warmed up by holding them in your hands. This will also aid in the application. Paste may be placed in any crevices or skin folds that may inhibit a good seal. For example, with a sacral or coccyx wound, you may need to place a small amount of paste in the gluteal cleft and then apply the transparent film over it. This will act like caulk to seal the crevice. You may place the paste on top of the transparent film. However, there is a risk the paste will stick to clothing or bedding, and placing it under the transparent film will prevent this. Ostomy paste may also be used around pin sites. Dress the wound as you normally would, and then turn on the negative pressure wound therapy. Once the suction is applied, place a small piece of paste around each pin until the seal is tight. Tips and Tricks Hydrocolloid is also very helpful in assisting with a hard-to-seal wound dressing. The hydrocolloid will absorb some moisture, so it is a great option in moist areas such as the groin, a foot, or perineal wounds. Cut the hydrocolloid in strips about one to three centimeters wide and picture frame your wound with the strips. Remember to use skin prep under and on top of the strips. Then, cover the wound with the transparent film the transparent film will stick very well to the hydrocolloid strips. Hydrocolloid strips may also be used around pin sites. Dress the wound as you normally would and turn on the negative pressure wound therapy. Once the suction is applied, place short strips around each pin site until the seal is tight. Tips and tricks. Foot and toe wounds are typically very difficult to get an airtight seal. Skin on many feet is compromised, thick, and sometimes moist. Many times, the sandwich technique is appropriate, especially if the wound is from an amputated toe or if it is in between the toes. The sandwich technique describes sandwiching the wound and surrounding toes in between two pieces of transparent film. Place a piece of transparent film on the bottom, planter, of the foot that will cover the wound and toe or toes next to it. Then apply another piece of transparent film on top, dorsal, part of the foot to sandwich the wound and the toes next to the wound. Then you are able to cut the hole over the wound and place the fit pad or you can then bridge over the transparent film. Tips and tricks. Dressing smaller wounds than the fit pad. When dressing wounds smaller than the fit pad, this technique can be used. You have thoroughly cleaned the wound, 
applied a non-adherent contact layer over bone or other sensitive structures, and skin prep has been applied to the peri-wound skin. You protected the entire peri-wound with transparent film 3 to 5 centimeters. The foam has been cut and fits into the wound, and you have covered the wound with transparent film. When the wound is smaller than the fit pad, this technique can be used. Cut a hole in the transparent film to expose black foam. Now, cut a piece of black foam larger than the size of the fit pad, approximately two to three centimeters larger, and place on top of the hole you just cut, ensuring that foam touches foam. Apply a second layer of transparent film over the entire wound. Select appropriate location for the fit pad to be applied. Pinch the film and cut a small hole, approximately one centimeter in diameter. Peel the white backing off of the fit pad to expose the adhesive. Place the fit pad centered over the previously cut hole in the dressing. Press firmly for adherence. Attach the dressing tubing to the pump tubing by pushing the quick connector together until you hear a secure click.